right, so some say that Valentine's Day is a magical holiday, so we thought it would be fitting to have an illusionist on the show. Joining us is David Garrity. He's been in the entertainment biz for 25 years and joins us back here on CT Style. Nice to have you. Yes, nice to be back. Congratulations on the new format. Thank and the, you. And the new co-host. And yeah. the new guy over here. Yeah, absolutely. And a new baby. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Congratulations all around. Yeah, yeah. And, and to you as well, you just got back from Mexico. Yes, yes. Uh, very fortunate to be part of the guest entertainer program for some uh, all-inclusive resorts down there. So it's a good gig to have, David, it's okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I spent two months down there and worked a little bit of a tan. It's, it was nice, you know, and then I come back and now it's all shows and shoveling, so. That's true, but you know, people might have seen you at Six Flags, too. You're yes, there often. Yes, yes. Uh, actually, we just got done with our, our 22nd. We're going into our 23rd year of, uh, of uh, producing and performing in shows there, and uh, we're planning all that stuff now, so it's going to happen soon. Now, was, was magic always an, an interest for you? You know, I started uh, Magic because I uh, went on a family trip with my uh, f family to Florida. We saw a live Magic show for the first time, like, you know, like you know, birds and, mm -hmm. you know, things disappearing, reappearing, and it really made an impression on me. So I came back and it became a hobby, which then became a part-time job, which then turned into a career. And where, where do you so. learn that from? Is there a guru in Connecticut or is there <laughs> a magic book? Or is there like, like magic school you go to? Well, I, I lucked out. There was actually a magic shop in Connecticut at the time. So I, I, I went there and uh, I would uh, hang around a lot. Eventually the guy was like, you're here all the time. You might as well work here. So I learned, <laughs> learned, I learned some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, you know, I had a really good mentor in uh, uh, Steve Niblo and Brian Flint who were uh, uh, very influential in the beginning so yeah it's it's been great you know it's, a, it's been a great trip all know, right so far well so. we have to see some magic yeah, right i'm gonna get on the other something? side okay. here all right i brought a little uh little uh, something with me to to uh, sort of uh, uh pay tribute to one of my heroes in magic the world's greatest escape artist harry houdini now uh, houdini could escape from anything one of his most famous escapes was the straight jacket that's the jacket with the long arms they tie in the back sure. the, the only problem is it's very difficult to uh to buy a straight jacket these days uh <laughs> something about an nsa watch list or something uh, but, so okay. instead of Escaping from a, a straight jacket we'll, today, we'll I'll actually this. be escaping from my very own suit jacket of death. Oh, now, I know, I know what you're. It's very dangerous. Yes, this is I, a 38 law. I know, I, I know what you, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, you know, anybody could escape from their own suit jacket. Well, that is true. So we're going to add something that makes this whole thing a lot more difficult on me. We're going to add this set of antique handcuffs back in Houdini's day. Uh, they called these shackles, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Teresa, just yes. hold the two chains at the top right there with one hand. You got I that? Can do hold that. tight. You can feel that it's heavy. It's made of it steel. It is. It's legit. Uh, your empty hand is going to hold this padlock open. And Ryan, if you wouldn't mind, hold that one as well. Uh, and uh, the easiest way to actually put these on is you're going to take the padlock and just go through one link first, bring it around the wrist to the other link, and then lock the two together. There All right, you go. you're in there, David. Excellent. Now give it a pull, make sure it doesn't just pop back it's open. Not, there that's you go. In. That's your kind of eyes of the on for the <laughs> audience out there. Uh, Ryan, we're going to do the same thing on your side. Okay. You know what? Uh, we're doing this on TV. You know what? Let me try something I haven't done before. I'm going to try with these behind the back. So it's okay. a little harder on you the You sure you want to do this? You've never yeah. done this well, before? Uh, that's kind of hurt. <laughs> we'll see. We can always edit it out just in case it doesn't work. So, okay. Now, now uh, for the folks at home, uh, be a little patient here because this angle is a little difficult for Ryan. It's a, uh, hard to see and uh, and get this locked up correct. Wow! There we wow, go. That was fast. That was good. You're, you're, a... you're obviously familiar with this process, yes. so that's uh, good. So, yes. so give that a pull. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't pop back open. It looks okay. Let's All right. Next segment. Well, one last thing. Hold the whole center section. Push straight down. Make sure I can't just slip my hands through the openings there. Does it look okay? Give, give it a push one more time, just to get the shot there. It looks okay? Excellent, all right. Good to be yeah, uh, now here's what, if you guys could stand uh, on either side of me and just face each other, please, you'll notice that there's uh, two ropes on each side of that curtain, one for each hand. Would you mind to uh, pick it up and, uh, and uh, stand up, but relax your hands down. So you can stand up, but relax your hands down. There you go, this is the down position. This is important so the folks at home can see that the shackles are still you behind are the You are still back, okay? attached here, right. okay. The, uh, the second position is the up position. So when I say okay. raise the curtain, I'd like you to raise it so you can't see my head anymore. And we're gonna have a little bit of a, okay, well, we'll see how this goes. All right, uh, uh, raise the curtain. There you go. Uh, a little higher, if you can. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. I'm yeah. Okay. Sure, and, and, David. I know. And, <laughs> and down, down. There you go. That's okay. We'll try to get the, the speed the same if we can. And that was the uh, that way the audience can see the shackles. We'll we'll try that one more still, time. Yep. Yeah, just yeah. Up. I know it's tough for you, I Ryan. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm really no, you're, <laughs> okay. <We're ready. laughs> no, you're doing fine. It's okay. All right. We'll try that one more time just to make sure we all have our parts. And raise the curtain. Uh, yeah. That's good. Good. And down. Now, just one thing, okay? Uh, oh, uh, wait a second. How, how is that? that? Now, Are you very flexible? How the, did that just happen? The problem is, you, you, I got to be honest with you. You guys forgot to check me for keys, okay? Oh. Now, I had this key in my pocket. It doesn't work on these locks, <laughs> and it's the only key I have. But how did that happen? I want you to know that I'm being honest with you today. Now, now, don't let go, but give that lock a pull. Just make sure it's still locked. Still yes, locked? Yes, it is good. locked. Still locked over here on this side, Ryan? Excellent. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Now, I feel, I feel like we're ready to start the escape here. So, here we go. And uh, raise the curtain. There you go. 
And, uh, okay, down. Now, I just want to give you an <gasps> update, okay? Uh, How is this happening? Half, halfway there, yeah, Teresa. I can tell. Halfway there, <laughs> Ryan. I see that. Here, check that lock. Still locked still over there. Still locked. Good, still locked on that side. Excellent. Good. All right, good. All right, this is going well. All right, better than last, last time I did it. All right, here we go. And raise the curtain. Good. Now, I feel good. I think it's going to take a little less than two hours today, which is how long it normally takes to do this thing. So, are you taking all right, your and pants off? Down, 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 down. All right. Small problem. Just, Whoa. I got. Now it's on backwards. It's on backwards. Just, just check that lock. It's still locked over yeah, there. It's still locked I, on that side. It's still locked over here. Excellent. Still good. on. I got, uh, sorry. I am but, so confused. <laughs> it, it's okay. The problem is, it, it, like, it's bright here, but once that goes up, it's tough to see. So, right. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try this. Uh, Okay. Try this one more time. Ready? I think I know what I did wrong. And raise the curtain. Good, good, good. And uh, ah, down, down, down. In fact, let go. Let go of your ends. Let go. Yeah, this is not good. Whoa. This is not good at all. That looks very so, uncomfortable. Oh, what? So my microphone, I think. There you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, T Teresa, is, is, is it, that lock yeah, still yeah, locked? Yeah, you're locked. Good. I don't know okay, how good. this keeps hey, happening. Hey, Ryan, uh, hey, do you check I'm, that I'm lock like there? Just, just, this just make sure the lock is still locked. Just, Wait, it's, where am just, I touching? Well, oh, easy, oh, Tiger. Okay. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking for the lock. It's around my wrist. Oh. It's at the end of my arm. It's the same here? place it was yeah. when we started. Yep, okay. there you yeah, go. Yeah, still locked? Okay, that's great. Now right. what, David? Okay, okay. Can we help can you, you? Can you guys find the ropes? I gotta try just. Yeah, yep, just yep. One. We got the ropes. There you go. Go find the ropes. There, work together here. Cool. You got it. And and raise the curtain one more time. Okay. Almost there. Hang on one second. Don't fall over. All right. And. What is down. going on in there? Now, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Nope. Yes, sir. Ra Wait. Teresa. Teresa. Yes. Ryan? Ryan. Yes. Okay. How did Marco. you guys? How did you guys switch places? That's freaky. What I, is going on? I this don't is know. all right. Well, as you can see, that you guys could let go of the curtain all the way. There you go, Teresa. Would you mind taking the coat there? There you go. Wow. Now I was able to escape from the jacket completely, but I still haven't been able to figure out how to get out of these shackles. So we'll, I'll maybe on when we do the show on the 21st, I'll be able to actually get out of these. But uh, yeah. so that was really that's impressive. That. Yeah, I mean, you can that leave that right there. That's never came cool. undone at all. So, you want to check the lock one more time? Still, still locked. Still Excellent. locked. Still, good, good. still David, locked. David, where is the show? That we uh, can see. Yeah, so we, uh, we've got a show coming up. It's on uh, Saturday, February 21st. It's going to be at Costa Azora Restaurant, which mm -hmm. is on East Broadway in Milford, Connecticut. Got it. Uh, the show, uh, the doors open at 6.30 p.m. It's a dinner uh, and magic comedy show. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a, a wonderful dinner from the folks at uh, Costa Azora. Uh, my friend Adam and I are doing an adult 21 plus comedy magic show that okay. night. Uh, terrific food and uh, it's going to be uh, there's going to be door prizes and it's going to be a fun, fun night. It, it is a 21 plus event and uh, it is to benefit the Jonathan Law post prom Event. There you go. So it's a, it's and what's a your safe website? event, and uh, yeah, it, and it, it, if if the uh, the info uh, if the info that came up for the contact Jennifer Miller on the uh, on the screen mm -hmm. came came and went too quickly, they can contact me on my website mm -hmm. uh, corporateconjurer.com, and I could put them in touch with the the people for the tickets because I think we're seventy five percent full already. So uh, right, there's no we'll there's, there's no guarantee that then. there'll be tickets available uh, at the door. So make sure you get them ahead of time. So pretty right. impressive right. stuff, David. Good luck all with right. those shackles. I'm yeah. gonna hold on to this key though. Okay, all right. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Sorry. Thanks. I, 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 I'll get this one of these days, but all right. Thank you all so much right. for having me. Sure I appreciate thing. it. All right.